Welcome to Electron Online, and here's another very interesting application problem using the law of sines and I might as well put the law of sines down for reference so we have the sine of A divided by side A equals the sine of B divided by side B equals the sine of C divided by side C and it's always a good idea to label the drawing so that you know which is A, B and C uh, but let's say that you're driving down the highway and you see a mountain in the distance and you wonder how tall that mountain is and at one point you measure the angle between the line of sight from your car all the way to the top of the mountain you measure that to be 10 degrees relative to the ground then you drive 10 miles you stop you look at it again and now you realize that the angle has grown to 22 degrees so based upon that can you figure out how tall the mountain is and the answer is yes what we need to do is figure out what this side is equal to so let's call this side a and we're going to find out what that is equal to first and of course if this angle is 10 degrees and that angle is 22 degrees and those two lines must be the difference between them or this uh, an angle of 12 degrees uh, separating the two and then you can see that uh, this here would be angle A and uh, if we call this side B then this here would be angle B because this would be opposite to this side and this side is opposite to the angle right there alright so now we have uh, side A what we're looking for, side B which is known, angle A which is known, and angle B which is known. Now we can use the law of sines to figure out what side A is equal to. Then at that point we're going to realize that we have a right angle triangle like this and we should be able to find A by uh, using this angle right here and using the knowledge then of what the hypotenuse will be of that triangle. Alright, so using the law of sine, and I'm going to reverse the angles and the sides, I can write A divided by the sine of angle A is equal to B divided by the sine of angle B. Solving this equation for A, I get A is equal to B times the ratio of the sine of A, because I can cross multiply sine of A up here, divided by the sine of B, Oop. like so, and plug in the numbers, B is 10 miles, multiply it times the sine of A, which is 10 degrees divided by the sine of B which is 12 degrees Oop, sine of 12 degrees all right okay let's see what we get all right so we have 10 take the sine of that divided by 12 take the sine of that equals and then multiply times 10 and that tells us that the mountain is 8.35 miles away all right so at that point it's 8.35 miles and that is side a all right now next uh, we have to figure out what h is equal to so we're going to use this triangle right here and now we no longer have to use the law of sines we can simply use the sine and the cosine for right triangle uh, right angle triangles and since uh, this is the um, opposite side to this angle we're going to use the sine and the definition of the sine the sine of and so what is this angle right here the 20 uh, the 22 degree angle well we didn't label it let's call it side C so the sine of C by definition is equal to the ratio of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse and in this case the opposite side would be H and the hypotenuse uh, that would be A which is now known so we can use that now to solve for H so we say that H is equal to A times the sine of C. A, uh, we just figured out what that is, that's 8.35 miles. And we have to multiply it times C, and C is the sine of 22 degrees. All right, let's see what that's equal to. So we 8.35 times 22, take the sine of that, Oop. oh no, sine of that equals and we get h is equal to 3.13 miles wow that's a very tall mountain now of course if we convert that to feet we can convert that to feet we have 5,280 feet uh, per one mile so miles cancel out we convert that to feet so times 5280 we get 16,520 feet so we have a few volcanoes about that tall uh, in Central America or in Mexico perhaps. So yeah, that's what you would see if you were to drive up to that mountain. 
You take a measurement of the angle between your line of sight and top of the mountain at this point, then you do it again at this point. Having driven 10 miles, use the law of sine to get this distance right here, and then use the definition of sine to get the height. And that's how we do that. Very slick, very clever.